Episode 9 is set to bring a return of the iconic character of Luke Skywalker portrayed by Mark Hamill. When it comes to J.J. Abrams, a lot of people are very curious about exactly how he will be treating the character in this movie. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing to truly look forward to seeing in this movie is, of course, the character of Luke in the form of either a flashback or a dream sequence or a vision that will fill in the gaps in between the originals and the sequels. Now, I fully understand that a lot of you guys out there are really not all that up for flashbacks because I know a lot of you guys want Luke to just come back to life in the present time and be alive and well. I understand that totally, I get that. Now these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. One of which has all to do with one of the set designs where Mark Hamill is set to shoot a sequence at Pinewood and Cardington for what's being described as a scene that will change the opening of The Last Jedi for Luke. Hamill will be placed in the cockpit of an X-Wing without his beard, and is described as a scene showing the audience when Luke crash landed on Ock 2, and how he found the first Jedi Temple. It said a large screen will be used that will be placed in front of the cockpit set piece that will be rocked around to emulate the X-Wing going through what's said to be a thunderstorm. Also techniques will be made to create sparks on top of Luke's X-Wing, while lights flash to emulate lightning hitting the X-Wing during the storm. This is JJ's way of also giving fans a parallel to what happened to Luke in Empire Strikes Back when crashing on Dagobah. This would also tell the audience that Luke did not crash his X-Wing intentionally, and Parts of The Last Jedi are being retconned. It's said that the, last that the last line from Luke in The Last Jedi, came to this island to die, will be retconned by use of this scene. So what's really intriguing to me is that this would truly change our perception on the very beginning of Episode 8, The Last Jedi. A lot of people have been wondering, Exactly how did Luke Skywalker get here? What was it like when he got here? And did he crash this X-Wing on purpose or not? That's one of the biggest mysteries when it comes to Luke's presence on Ock 2. And I think that was one of the little foreshadowing pieces by Ryan Johnson when Rey took a glance at the X-Wing submerged underwater. I think it was letting fans know that there is a big mystery that lies underneath that ocean in Luke's X-Wing. There is something there. There is a truth there, and that's exactly what J.J. Abrams is going to explore in this film, and using that as an advantage in order to retcon a piece of episode 8. So if we look at what Ryan Johnson tried to do, you know, that famous line, I came to this island to die. A lot of people had a lot of problems with Luke Skywalker having that attitude and why he actually came to the island. Not to actually, you know, study, you know, the whole entire aspect of Jedi and the Jedi lore, but he came to this island to die. That to me never really made full sense. So now it seems, you know, J.J. Abrams is trying to add in more depth to that scene where his X-Wing gets struck strike down by an actual thunderstorm with a lightning bolt hitting the wing most likely, crashing it into the ocean, and Luke was hence pretty much, you know, stranded there on Ock 2. That's maybe where he created the line, I came to this island to die, maybe he was kind of lying to Rey, I don't know how they're going to retcon this. But, it's also said that he won't be having the beard in this sequence, so this must take place sometime after the whole entire Jedi Temple gets burned down by his nephew Kylo Ren, and you know, pretty much the slaughter of his Jedi students, and when some of them were taken away, and most likely transitioned into the Knights of Ren. So you can see that J.J. Abrams is really trying to tour around with a lot of different sequences here that will reflect on Episode 8 and change our perception on the movie. Now, is this necessarily enough to fix Episode 8? Not quite. I think there's a lot more to be done in order to really kind of make a lot of fans happy and come back together again. But I think that this is truly a step in the right direction to change our view of Luke Skywalker and why he's on that island and exactly what really caused him to stay there for years or however long it really was. So with that being said guys, what do you think about this sequence in which Mark Hamill is going to be placed inside of an X-Wing cockpit set piece that will be rocked around in front of a large green screen in which they're going to be replacing that with a lot of thunderstorm sequences with clouds, rain, lightning, a uh, spark is actually to be emulated on the wing in order to emulate a lightning bolt hitting it. Honestly guys, I love this. It really does remind me of something out of Castaway or something like that. And I think J.J. Abrams definitely took a note out of that movie.
So if we look at everything that has been happening in this film, you know, the, not only that, a lot of people have a problems have problems with the whole entire inconsistencies with the sequel trilogy, and I don't blame people out there for having problems with that. There's a lot of back and forth between directors in the sequel trilogy that should be pretty much, you know, equalized right now. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.